Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome everybody to Wasak Engineering and Survey YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss the difference between angle and bearing and types of bearing. Let's start. Angle. The space between two intersecting land near intersecting point is called bearing. Actually, whenever two common land intersect each other at a point, it makes an angle. For example, this is one land and this is another land. These two are common lands and it intersect each other at this point. It makes an angle. It means that, angle, that an inclination between these two points is angle. It is measured in degree. In other words, actually angle is a measure of a common turn which is measured in degree. This is one line and this line turn in this direction. It makes an angle. It is measured in degree. Now we will discuss bearing. Bearing is an angle which a common line makes with meridian line. Meridian line means north so north pole to south pole. North and south. This is called meridian line. Whenever an angle make with this, then it is called bearing. It may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. There are two types of bearing: a whole circle bearing and reduced bearing. First, we will discuss whole circle bearing. This is a bearing measured from north and clockwise direction its value from 0 to 360 degree whole circle bearing is always measured from north in the clockwise direction and its value always from 0 to 360 degree for example it is a common land its make an angle with, with north this is and measure it in clockwise direction this is called whole circle bearing Remember that in first quadrant, whole circle bearing and reduced bearing are same. This is another common line. Let's make an angle with north in this clockwise direction. This is called whole circle bearing and we measure like this. 134 degree 21 minute and 7 second. Similarly, another example. This line makes an angle with this knot in this clockwise direction. This is called whole circle bearing and it is 307 degree 12 minute and 17 second. Second type of bearing is reduced bearing. It is a type of bearing which is measured from north to east and west and from south to east and west. Its value from 0 to 90 degree and reduced bearing may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Whole circle bearing is always clockwise from that direction and reduced bearing may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Reduced bearing is also called quadrant bearing because it is measured in only quadrant. For example, we have a common line. Let's make an angle with north. We measure it from clockwise direction. Its value is 57 degree 2 minute and 37 degree from north to east. This is clockwise. Similarly, another example, this line makes an angle with north. We measure it 33 degree 49 minute 20 second. We measure it from north to west which is anti-clockwise direction. Similarly, another example, this line makes an angle with south direct, uh, with south pole, and we measure it from south to east. It means that it is anti-clockwise. Similarly, from south to west, we measure an angle, uh, a bearing, which is 58 degree 53 minute 15 second. It is clockwise direction. Reduced bearing may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. In first quadrant, we measure it from north to east. In second quadrant, measure from south to east. Third quadrant, from south to west. And fourth quadrant, from north to west. 
always be measure in this type in this form reduce bearing i hope you have understand it and in next lecture we will discuss how to convert whole circle bearing to reduced bearing and reduced bearing to whole circle bearing if you have any question or suggestion please subs please comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching